Today we're running the WL Toys 144001 with the Ghoul RC 13 turn 540 rush motor, Hobby Wing 1040 ESC, and that's coming up next here on Jesse V Motors. Okay, let's go ahead and do our first 2S run. You can see we got 3.7 miles per hour on there. Let's go ahead and do our first run. Okay, here we go with our first pass. Let's run out of rip. Oh yeah, that was a nice clean run. That seems to have a little good zip in it. We're gonna go ahead and bring it back here. I'm gonna have to adjust the brakes a little bit on it. The brakes ain't working too good. But we got 33.1 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and do our second pass here. Okay, we're gonna do our second run here. Let's go ahead and let it rip. All right, that went pretty good too. Like I've said before, this car always runs pretty straight. One reason why I love it. Go ahead. Ooh. We got 39.2 miles per hour. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and do a third run before we go to three ends. Okay, I'm gonna wind this one out a little bit further. Let's go ahead and see if we can hit 40. Last run on 2S. All right, I ran it about all the way to the end of the driveway or parking lot here. We'll go ahead and bring it back here. And did we hit 40? Let's go ahead and see. And it looks like we only did 39.2, still the best for it. Let's go ahead and go to 3S, even though this motor is not rated for it. Let's see if we're going to see some smoke. Before we go to 3S, I just want to get a temperature here. And we're looking at about eh, 79 degrees, somewhere in there on the ESC. Not bad. Go to the motor here. Get it in the screen here. Move it up here. And... We got about 124, 123 on the motor. Let's go ahead and let it cool down a little bit and we'll do a 3S run. Okay, first 3S run. You can see we got 7.9 on there to make sure GPS is working. Go ahead. I don't know how many passes I'm gonna do like this because like I said, this motor is not rated for it. So we're just gonna go try. Okay, first 3S pass. Ooh, I don't know if it went faster. It was a good pass. We'll go ahead and bring it back here. My brakes ain't working too good. I think we slowed down a bit. We got 28, even. Let's go ahead. I think the motor might be getting too hot. Like I said, this is not what we normally do with it. Because it's a 2S motor. We'll do one more pass. Yep, I can already tell it does not like this 3S. So we'll go ahead and bring it back here. And we got 28 even again. Let's go ahead and check the temperatures. Okay, we're looking at the motor here. Go ahead and get it on there. Off camera, before I figured out my camera wasn't working. It got up to 202, which is pretty hot for the motor. See about, yeah, we hit 193. So some parts of this is very hot. So that's probably why the 3S ain't working. Go over here to the ESC. ESC, uh, 105. 106 was a high. Not too bad. Go down battery. Battery. Battery's cold. So those are the heat numbers off of it. Let's take it inside and go over the numbers. Now we're back inside. First off, if you follow me, you can see I got a different body here. This is a Fat Bodies hammer body. It's actually made for the longer wheelbase LC racing vehicles. And I cut it down to make it fit. Everybody has the attack bodies and stuff like that. And I just want to do something different. Not the greatest paint job in the world. But hey, it's going to get beat up anyways. And then I also went with the LC Racing wing on the back, 
just in case you guys noticed that that was different now let's get to the vehicle so what I got is is this was the uh, Red Cat Racing ESC out of my Red Cat Racing that was in the background this is actually made by Hobby Wing I showed in another video it says Hobby Wing right in the bottom it's basically a 1040 ESC and then right there you can see the info that's a 540 Go RC 13 turn 540 motor I was hoping to get a little bit more out of this motor since it had a higher RPMs. I mean, it did pretty good on 2S. It did almost hit 40 miles per hour. It hit 39.2. I wanted to hit 50 with this brush before I go to brushless, but I don't think I'm going to do it. If you guys have any ideas how I can do this brushed, leave a comment down below because I'm new to the speed stuff. So this is basically these two cars are my first tries at doing speed runs and I'm really enjoying them but I don't think I can get this to 50 brush unless I go brushless which is the next step with this now when we're on 3s this motor tells you right on it if you click on the link down below I'll have that link down there for you guys to check out it says 2s only so I didn't have high hopes for it I was so hoping though when I put 3s on this this thing would hit 50 but it, the motor just got way too hot as I said, I, when I first put the temperature gauge on it, it read 202, which is pretty hot. And I'm pretty sure that's why it just stopped, cut out. And I didn't want to run it no more because I didn't want to smoke it. Yep. But like I said, I'm highly disappointed I didn't get 50 miles per hour all this. But hey, stuff happens. So I'll go ahead and I'll leave a link down to everything down below the radio. The radio I do like in this. I was running my 5 Sky GT3C. I like this uh, radio link better. I never had a range issue with the Fly Sky, but the gyro feature in this I really do like. So I'll leave a link for all that stuff down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. On Facebook, don't forget I got a group on there, RC Car Life. Come over there and join in on the fun. That's all I got for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.